today we are going to show you the process of embryo transfer. This is the final stage for a patient. The patient has just yearned for this day because obviously you have taken so many injections, the ovarian stimulation was there, plus you were so anxious whether the embryos are going to be made or not, the fertilization is to be there or not. Now today is the day when you are planning for embryo transfer, you are keeping all your fingers crossed that after 15 days you will be a mother like you are going to become one and your pregnancy test will come positive. So just to relieve the anxiety, let's see what happens in an embryo transfer. So on that day the patient is supposed to come full stomach. Usually we do embryo transfer without general anesthesia unless and until the patient is very apprehensive and they want it in anesthesia. Because when you are doing it without anesthesia, you are able to see how the embryos are being put. You feel a part of the team. So your anxiety levels do really fall, your stress levels are low. So for that you have to take plenty of like your normal breakfast you are taking in the morning. You are taking all your medications, don't skip your medications on the day of embryo transfer, it's very important. Then you come here, you are not supposed to pass urine for the past two hours. So your bladder has to be full when we are doing the embryo transfer. After that a small speculum, this speculum, this is a very small thin speculum that you see. That is, there is nothing to be scared about it. If you put it like this in the vaginal wall, there is no pain that you feel. So this is put, it's just a mild discomfort, it's not a pain. Believe me, there is a difference between discomfort and pain. So everything is sterile, we put it inside your uh, vaginal, vagina and then we see your external loss. Parallelly, the junior doctor, she shows us uterus. So your bladder has to be full. The uterus is there, you can see your bladder, you can see and the uterus also. Very beautifully you can see the uterus which is here. The lining is to be seen, the endometrial lining. Now we clean the vaginal wall, same no betadine is used, it is cleansed and then the embryologist comes, we tell him that we are ready, so he comes with the outer and the media. Ready? So the media is given, the media is infiltrated. Then the outer cannula is there. So for that we have already taken the patient's measurements when the patient has been coming to our OPD. So we knew, know that where till what end we have to put this. So we do the gradations according to that. All the measurements are taken beforehand when, the pa when we are doing ultrasound of the patient. So then we put it inside. This tip, this tip has to cross the internal loss. It is very important. And this is a very, very small thing. You can see this is very thin. There is no issue that this is not going to pass your cavity. Usually we do mock it is also before the final ET. So this is done. Now when it passes, when it goes inside, then you can see the tip in the internal loss. You can see this small dot in the cavity. So it has gone inside. Now when you are inside, then you tell the embryologist to bring the, bring the final embryos because that has to go through a proper channel. So then we again tell the embryologist, ready. Then the embryologist loads it in the inner, this is the inner. And then we put it through the outer and this goes inside the cavity. Before putting it, we are very particular, we see that the embryos are at least, they should be 2.5 centimeter below the fundus, it is there in place or not. And then we finally inject it very slowly, the patient is able to see the dot in the uterine cavity via the ultrasound. Then we hand it over same in same way to the embryologist. We have to be very particular that there is no blood on the tips. If the blood is there obviously then if it is in the inner tip then it is not good. It can be in the outer tip but not in the inner tip. Then the embryologist takes it inside the lab and rechecks it whether all the embryos have been put inside the cavity or not. And then we show this to the female that the embryos have been transferred. We freeze the machine and there is a flash sign, we see it in the cavity that the embryos have been pushed inside, they have been put in proper place, it starts shining. Then the embryologist tells us that the embryos are clear. clear. This is the way the embryo transfer is done, after that the patient is put back in position and then you are supposed to take rest for 20 to 30 minutes and the procedure is through.